Hello. 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 I have some thoughts on species of spirits and consciousness. Some insights, perhaps, some ways of seeing this differently that I've gone over in some of my live streams. I've talked about this, some of my live streams, and before then, in premieres, and before I even had a YouTube channel, before I made any videos, I've been speaking about this for a while. I think that there are different species of spirits here. Just like there's so many species of creatures, animals, insects in this realm. There's different races of human beings, different races and different ethnicities, different personality types. I don't just mean from individual to individual. Speaking about the Myers-Briggs, MPTI, 16 personality types. Pardon my voice, people. I have been up all night, and I wanted to make this video. We are different in so many ways, and we are taught that we are the same. They always push sameness, oneness, sameness. We are all equal. We are all one. We are all the same. We're all the human species or all the quote-unquote human race. I don't buy that at all. I really never have. I've always seen the differences. When they want us to see sameness, because it's easier to control us that way. If we're all the same and behave in the same way, if you control one, you can control a million or ten million or 100 million, or 500 million. We are different. Some of us are rare, but a lot are common. They're like clones or carbon copies of each other. I'm not saying physical clones. Spiritually, they are. Mentally, they are. In behavior, they are. They don't need to be physical clones, or bio-clones, if you see what I'm saying. They don't have to be bioengineered. Mentally, spiritually, they're pretty much the same. We have different abilities. We're not the same. Physically, we're not the same. Not at all. A seven foot tall person that's athletic, <clears throat> excuse me, and can slam dunk a basketball is quite different from somebody under five feet tall. Most people in the realm, regardless of height, can't slam dunk a basketball. Even very tall women that are six foot three, six foot five, most of them can't slam dunk a basketball. Most men walking this earth can't slam dunk a basketball. I think our spirits are different that way as well. We don't all run at the same speed. Not all of us can run a hundred meters in under ten seconds. Not all of us can run for 20 or 30 miles or more, 50 miles, 100 miles. We're different. Not all of us can lift huge sums of weights or swim fast in a pool. We're physically different. We're mentally different. Not everyone is great at chess. We don't all have the same intellectual capacity. Our IQs are different. There's a huge range. An enormous difference between even an average person and someone two or three standard deviations above that in the gifted and genius categories. It's very different. And that's just from average up. If you go to well below average in the 70, 60 IQ and under, it's an enormous difference. It's worlds apart. I'm not saying this to revel in it or take glee in it. I'm saying it because it's true. It is true. We are different physically, intellectually, mentally, with psychic gifts, and also spiritually, which makes sense. We're different in every other conceivable way. Why do people believe that we're all the same spiritually? Why would you believe that your spirit is the same 
as someone who loves to harm others, abuse children, or murder people, or commit sexual assault, or horrendous, heinous crimes against others. Why would you think that they have a spirit just like yours? Why would you think that you're one with them, that you're the same spiritually, that you're the same species of spirit? Why wouldn't you say, well, maybe they look human on the outside, but maybe they're different internally. Maybe on the inside, their spirit is black, dark, evil. Maybe they're an eternal creature that can't be destroyed, but maybe they can be sealed in and quarantined here. Maybe they need to be. Have you ever wondered about the species of spirits? It's something I've noticed nobody talks about on this, in this realm and on YouTube, except for me, that I've ever seen. Nobody seems to ponder this, that we could be very, very different from what surrounds us. I don't think it explains it to say they're just sociopaths and psychopaths and narcissists. That's psychology, but that's not spirituality. That's not a spiritual difference. I think what we're dealing with is spiritual differences, species of spirits, different consciousness. They have a different consciousness than what I am. I know I'm different from what they are. You may not be at that stage yet. You might be new to this. You might have been thinking about this for months. Maybe you need years. And I'm not putting you down. I didn't arrive at these ideas in a day or a week or a month. This has been a lifelong work for me, the pursuit of truth and trying to understand what is going on in this realm and beyond this realm, in the spiritual realms. I want to know what is going on. I want to understand. I need to understand what is going on here. I need to know. I am naturally a truth seeker. I'm curious. I'm inquisitive. I look deeply into things. I wonder about things. I want to know. Okay? I want to know what is going on and why we are so different. Not just in beliefs, but in behaviors. We are very different in this realm. If you look at a thousand beings walking upright on two legs, or a hundred thousand, or a million, or ten million, we're very, very different. Very different. Many in this realm don't care what this earth is. They don't care where, where we are. They say that it has no impact on them in their life. It doesn't affect them the way that it impacts us. We want to understand this place and beyond here in the realms out of body and beyond this matrix. All right, so we are different. We are very, very different. And I think everything points to that. All the evidence we can look at, when you really look into this, we are different from them. Maybe they aren't all the same spirit either. Maybe they are also different. I'm not saying it's just us as one spirit type and them as another type. There might be 20 different types, 50, 100, 1,000. I don't know, and neither do you. If you're honest with yourself, neither do you. But this is something that we can ponder. Species of spirits, different types of consciousness. There might be some that are very, very dark very evil, where nothing we can say or do with them, for them, can change them, can help them, where they are that way, it is what it is, as a being, as a creature, or as a spirit, or as a demon, maybe it just is what it is, just like a rock is what it is, water is what it is, the ocean is what it is. An oak tree is what it is. 
An eagle is what it is. An owl or a snail, they're not the same thing. A shark isn't the same thing as a tiger or a wolf or a bear or a squirrel or a chipmunk. They're different. So maybe we have to get used to looking at things that way, through that type of lens. Maybe at first you want to just do that as a thought experiment, just to try it. How different are you from the most evil creatures that you see in this realm walking around? Instead of looking for how are we the same, look at the differences. Take a real, honest, deep look at the differences. Without fear. With curiosity. Without fear. Don't be afraid. Just look at them and see how different they are from us. We might be very similar, the ones on my channel that understand me. Mad love to you, everyone. Take care.